What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are taking a look and reacting to another thing that I found online. If you guys missed our video from I think a couple weeks back, I took to the internet and I reacted to supposedly the 13 best WWE action figures of all time or WWE Mattel action figures of all time. And so while I was doing research and trying to work on my WWE action figure ranking video, which is going to be ranking WWE Elite Series 1 through 100 from worst to best. Videos coming along great. Just again, a lot of editing in that one. A lot of time, you know, to, to put into that project. I've been working on it little by little as each day passes and hopefully, you know, I'll, I'll be done with it soon. But while doing more research for that video and just looking back through the archives and trying to find some different information and just kind of looking around stuff, I discovered this article that I thought was pretty interesting and I wanted to react to it with you guys. So here today, man, we're going to react to this article. As you guys can see here, this is on figuresandmore.com and this article is from No November 26th, 2009. It is on figuresandmore.com. Action figures featured Ringside Fest 2009 Mattel WWE. So this is a four, uh, nearly, nearly 14-year-old article, which is just mind-boggling to even think about. So when this article released, I was like barely a teenager or even, was I even a teenager? That's just unbelievable to think about that Mattel and WWE have been making figures that long. Like just uh, truly unbelievable. All right, man, so taking a look at it right here, Ringside Fest 2009 Mattel WWE. It says Ringside Collectibles held their annual Ringside Fest event November 21st at Caroline's on Broadway in New York City. Pretty sure that's a typo, Brad. In addition to featuring signings by Kofi Kingston, Mickey James, Hornswoggle, Melina, Christian, and John Morrison. That's insanity. Looks like Co Kofi Kingston, the only one still kicking it in the WWE today. The team behind Mattel's new WWE line made their first public appearance. Mattel chose to use this event to publicly debut their new WWE line, the basic line, elite line, entrance grades, and flex force. Boo. Boo this man. They were all there and so were we. Here are my impressions of one of the most anticipated lines of 2010. Mattel is bound and determines, another typo a little bit there, Mattel is bound and determined to hit the ground running with their WWE line kicks off on January 1st, 2010. Mattel has a ton of product planned for launch and they have concrete plans for the months to follow. At Ringside Fest, I met the majority of Mattel's WWE team, including their PR representative Rob Novickus, Rob Novickus, and marketing manager for the WWE line, PJ Lewis. I also met Derek Alex and two men named Bill from the design team. Bill Makina has been killing it for Mattel for over a decade, man. That is just, that's crazy. I apologize to them for not printing their last names. They never used them over the course of the day, and if they did, I did not hear them. These talented people have all come together to create one of the best action figure lines, and definitely the best wrestling figure line I have ever seen. The figures are all one size and scale across the entire line, which means they are all, which means they all live in the same universe. That is crazy, man. To think about what they were saying 14 years ago. This is 2009 they were stating this, and now now you fast forward to 2023, I mean, it's not even a debate, you know, it's something that we've had the, the blessing and the privilege to kind of be with and have our hands on and collect over this entire span, man. I mean, unbelievable. Mattel is launching a comprehensive line designed to showcase the many personalities present on the WWE roster. There are four basic subdivisions to the line, and, and each one was present. Here's a breakdown of the line. The basic figure line, which will retail for $9.99 each, will be the main line. The main line. I mean, I guess technically it is the main line, but we know what the real main line is. We look at this as like the budget tier, but that's kind of what it is. It's the budget tier of figures. It's the figures where little Timmy is running down the aisle. Mom wants to buy him a John Cena action figure. And there's a John Cena right there, $9.99. Bam. You know, they don't really care about the articulation that much. The details aren't all there. And it's a solid John Cena figure, $9.99. Boom, there it is. Don't have to fork out a ton out of the budget. Boom, budget figure. With a new wave of six figures every other month, Mattel was showing off the first two basic series. Series one consists of Kofi Kingston, Batista, John Cena, Triple H, Evan Bourne, and Big Show. The series will be on the shelf January 1st, 2010. Series two due to be released February slash March consists of Rey Mysterio, Vladimir Kozlov, Mark Henry, CM Punk, and Kane. In between waves of basic figures, Mattel will be releasing pay-per-view themed, pay-per-view themed waves. The first of these is the WrestleMania hair Heritage waves. I miss these basic uh, waves right here, man. The 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 heritage figures, the pay-per-view exclusive basics were fantastic. I always love those. But the first series of these figures consists of Edge WrestleMania 21, which is a fantastic effing basic, man. What a great basic. Batista WrestleMania 21, Stone Cold Steve Austin WrestleMania 27, Randy Orton WrestleMania 24. 
and Undertaker WrestleMania 24, and John Cena WrestleMania 21. Also shown was a figure of the Great Khali from Basic Series 3. Also as part of the Basic line, Mattel will be releasing a series of two packs representing either great tag teams or rivalries, which will retail for $17.99 each. The first set of these two packs will be out on January 1st, consists of blah blah blah, blah blah blah. Also shown was a Shad figure from the Crime Time 2 pack from Series 3. Sadly, due to a mishap, JTG was unable to make the trip to New York. Boo. Kind of wild. I actually saw JTG when I was front row for the Royal Rumble. He was sitting like row four behind the commentary, or maybe it was like row three behind the commentary. He's also like behind Logan Paul's crew and stuff. What a wild adventure. I look forward to WrestleMania. All right, this right here is asinine. The next step up from the basic line is the elite line, which will retail for $14.99 each. $14.99 each. Can you even fathom $14.99 each? Are they not $22.99 each and sometimes even $24.99 each depending on where you get them? Like obviously back in this day, uh, re th this is like retail price, like Walmart price. I don't know what Ringside was listing elites for back in the day. Maybe somebody watching this video could tell me what uh, what they retail for. You know, they've always been a little bit more cut because they do pay for the extra shipping. You get them first. There's all those different little things there. So Ringside has always been doing that, and it's a, it's a fantastic business model, to be honest with you. Like, a, a, like right now, my Walmart has Elite 93 on the shelves, and, like, they've been up for months, of course, but I got that way from Ringside Collectibles over a year ago, so it just kind of shows you what transpires when you order those figures early, man. So if you really care and love your wrestling action figures and you want them first and you you know you don't want to wait on your figures, Ringside Collectibles is the absolute way to go. Use code MD Toys. Can you imagine using code MD Toys back then? My God. $14.99 for an elite figure, man. My God. Only $5 more from a basic. And look right here. The this figures, these figures, made in the same scale, will come with accessories and soft goods, i.e. clothing. Most of the figures will come with removable t-shirts, coats, or some other entrance attire, Series 1, which is due for release on Janu. Oh, it continues here. On January 1st, 2010. That reminded me of the Drake and Josh episode where it's like, you know, they, they make that bet or whatever about who will cave first between Drake and Josh. And it's like, whoever caves will have to be killed or will have to die. And then it's like, you flip it over and it's like, dye their hair pink. And whoever caves... Must die. Must die. <laughs> His hair pink. <laughs> oh. That's exactly what that reminded me of. Great show. One of my favorite shows of all time. It says here, consists of Edge with a removable vinyl coat. Garbage. Rey Mysterio with a removable t-shirt and hood. Garbage. I'm just kidding. It's not really a hood. It's more like a mask overthrow deal here. MVP with a removable chain. CM Punk with a removable t-shirt. Undertaker with a removable vinyl coat and hat. Series 2 and 3 were also shown. Series 2 consists of Matt Hardy, R-Truth, Randy Orton, Ted DiBiase, Triple H, and Batista. And then Series 3 consists of Christian, The Miz, Shawn Michaels, John Cena, Cody Rhodes, Santino Morella. Look at this right here. Mattel also has an Ultimate Collector Series, they don't know how the how well that shish would age, called Entrance Grace, the series which will retail for $21.99 each, which is kind of wild when you think about it, right? $21.99 each, which is seven more dollars than the regular elites, and I'm pretty sure originally the basics or the, the Entrance Grace were just basic figures with new accessories, so that's kind of wild. Focus is on recruiting, da 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 Let's see right here, man. Naturally, as much as this line. Skip down here. It says, naturally, as much as this line is for collectors, it is also for kids. To that effect, Mattel has also developed two segments of this line. Younger demographic. Goes on to talk about the replica toy belts, as well as the flex force. And it looks like they have, like, some Q&A down here. So we skip down here. It says, in between the two autograph sections, Mattel held a short Q&A in the autograph room. Here are some highlights. There's a possibility that Mattel will sell a display base. Uh, Mattel has loved the feedback from their kid focus groups. When asked about accessories and play sets, Mattel said they would be making belts, rings, and more. When asked about Randy Orton's new tattoos, Mattel's comment was stay tuned. There will be exclusives for different vendors. They're looking into recreating pyro and lightning effects for entrances. Don't know what the hell that means. Series lineups are determined by visual board in the Mattel offices as well as fan input. Wow. There will be news regarding a Legends line in 2010. Roleplay items will be presented. When asked about Jeff Hardy, Mattel said that they would have to wait and see. 
Saw how that went. Wouldn't get his first figure in forever. Hornswoggle and Rey Mysterio were two of the hardest figures to make due to the large number of deco they require. The heads for their figures are all real scan. A fan asked about an RC figure. I don't know if that means like remote control figures. All Divas will be made by Mattel. A fan came up with an interesting idea to pack in repro reproduction of fan signs with superstars. Mattel seemed to like this idea. We actually did end up getting some of that. When asked about Hulk Hogan, the reply was stay tuned. This aged well, especially this year. Mattel will not be making d video games directly, but they have had conversations about figure tie-ins. Mattel wants to know what you want to see. And then it skipped down It skips down to kind of his final thoughts here. This is my first time up close with the new line, and I'm incredibly impressed. The Elite line may become some of my favorite figures ever. All of the figures are incredibly detailed, and the fact that the entire line is scaled the same is extraordinary. The accessories and fabric make the Elite line well worth the extra money. The extra money. Oh my god, that's funny. Seriously though, that's just crazy. It's just kind of, you know, inflation and times and just, yeah. I mean, the figures are better now compared to them, but $14.99 for some of those elite figures is insane. The biggest things that impressed me with Mattel's line were the little things, the micro, the, the microphones. The figures hold, for example, have embossed logos. The figures hold? Oh, I get it. The microphones that the figures hold. For example, they have embossed logos instead of stickers. The Triple H figure comes with a water bottle which has a little molded cap. The rings have molded aprons. Blah, blah, blah. Da, 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 da. This enthusiasm shows, and it is great to see. The design team is knowledgeable, animated, and more than willing to talk about how cool their job is. PJ, the marketing manager, wants to pick the brain of every fan to deliver what they want to see. I know after seeing the product in person, can't wait until January 2010. The question Mattel has for you is, are you ready? You can follow the WWE Mattel line. Enjoy the pictures below. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Holy shish. That was pretty cool to go down the rabbit hole right there, man. And they also have these pictures down here, which are crazy. Just insane. Some of these figures are highly sought after now. It's hilarious, like the flash photography they got going on here. It's like the worst photos you've ever seen. Like, that's just so funny how just times have changed and things like that. But looks like some of these photos were taken with a damn toaster. Nonetheless, man, I hope you guys enjoyed that trip down memory lane there. I think, you know, if anybody, I wasn't collecting now. I wasn't collecting at this moment. Uh, I would love to know where you guys stood. Uh, like, do you remember this? Do you remember this? these days, like, when this was announced and, like, what your feelings were and what you expected and all those things, man? I would love to have, like, nice videos of all of these different things and, like, reactions to these things, but I don't think that was really a thing back then. Like, all you have is, like, the forums and you have, like, little articles like this that you just kind of discover, so that's what's kind of wild, man. But nonetheless, that's going to wrap up today's video, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts what you think on the article or what you thought of this entire thing down in the comment section below. It's just something I wanted to make a video about because it seemed very interesting. So I wanted to press record and just kind of react to it. Huge shout out to our patrons over on Patreon, man. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron, definitely go check it out. Link in the description below. Also, check out our merch on ProWrestlingTees.com. would greatly appreciate that. But that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. Have a blessed one. And I'll see you next time again. I always do that, man. Jesus Christ. We'll never be